What's up y'all? Welcome back! This is the video that we've all been waiting for, right? And I don't mean like just since I've been teasing this on my Instagram. I have been talking about and alluding to and manifesting and y'all have too been always asking for blush from me. I am the self-appointed blush queen, right? I am the self-appointed color theory queen, right? And it only makes sense that like that's where my path would be leading me. So today is the day. <laughs> We're finally here. We are at the place where I am able to announce my very first ever blush collab. I'm so freaking excited. Like when I had a previous collab for my lip liner, it was a surprise to me. And so I was like really nervous to announce it like this. I'm just so flipping excited to announce because I have been absolutely like up to my elbows in the actual product the entire time. So I'm going to show y'all all the products. I'm gonna, you know, introduce the entire concept to you and everything because we've just been teasing it to death. I'm going to show y'all, you know, actual application footage of all of the shades and all of the products. And I'm going to tell y'all what the process was like putting this together because it was actually so cool. It was so much fun. So we're gonna get into all the details. Hopefully my whole chest doesn't turn like splotchy red. I think it's already trying to because because I'm just like excited, you know? <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I'm putting out a makeup collection and it's actually not just blushes. Patreon heard that first, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and, and jump into my very first ever blush collab. Yeah, dude. I would say it feels weird to make this video, but it doesn't. It feels appropriate. It feels like it's been such a long time coming. And when I was finally able to get my hands in colors, like it felt so right to me. So the brand that I collabed with is called Finding Ferdinand. I have talked about them actually for like years on my channel. They're a cosmetics company that is first and foremost like a tech company because they have such a unique technology in their hands, which is the ability to create any color of their particular cosmetic formulas in units of one at a time, which is just remarkable. It results in like a much more like low waste or even zero waste, if you think about it, process of manufacturing. Things aren't just sitting around on shelves. They're vegan, they're cruelty-free. Like they aligned with so many of my values. And I'm gonna gush for a second because collaborating with Finding Ferdinand, collaborating with New and Abigail and Dylan, the team over there was just so incredible. Like I felt like the vision was so aligned across everyone. It was like the communication was just so crystal clear between everybody the whole time. It felt frictionless, it felt fun, it felt easy. It felt like it went by really fast because I feel like we were all able to collaborate on decisions in a way that felt like yes, 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 yes. And like the way that new just like get like gets my vision. So I will demonstrate by showing you the imagery that we ended up with from the collection. So a lot of this is going to be on the website. By the way, this is all getting released tomorrow, Friday, August 11th at noon Eastern Standard Time. So new East Coast time in the US. So set your clocks. We will have a reminder probably on Instagram and every other platform or whatever for when this goes live and it will be available for purchase but it is called Summer Abroad. This was my vision for wanting to create duos essentially. So that was my foundational idea was to have these duos of what I call my OTP, right? The beige and the coral that are going to give you that like perfect sun-kissed kind of look on your cheeks. But I wanted everybody to be able to get what they wanted from it. And so I thought about doing it for different skin tones and that was the initial approach. And then I realized after especially like letting some of my friends swatch it and things like that, you know, some of the kind of like earlier, what, prototypes, I guess. People were like, I would want more than just my shades, you know, by like my skin tone, quote unquote. So we're basically putting this out in terms of like intensities. It is a beige and a coral in three different intensities. So six total shades, but you can wear them in any combination that you want. You can just wear one of the beiges. You can buy all of the beiges. You could buy all of the corals. You could buy the deep coral and the, the light beige, however you want to do it, because the intensities are meant to give you as many options as you want to be able to play and let you kind of dial up or dial down the intensity of like this, you know, beautiful sun-kissed late summer look. So 
that was what inspired this. And I also wanted to bring the, I don't know, the kind of like fantasy of summer for me is like a European vacation going to like, you know, Amalfi or Positano or something and just kind of getting lost, right? Getting lost in time, getting lost in space, having your day basically just function around the good food and the good people and like, you know, you don't even know what day it is kind of thing. Just that, just going on holiday. So Summer Abroad is, is the name of the collection. And I named all of the beige tones after your morning coffees. So now these are used because of course they're used. I, you know, I use them all the time. So we have the three beige shades, Latte, Olay, and Macchiato. And honestly, showing these to you, you know, just on my skin tone, you can see the, you know, increasing in the depth, the increasing in the intensity, but you still get just kind of a variation in this beautiful kind of natural tan that it mimics to me, not just natural sun exposure, but also the way that, you know, you would want your bronzer to blend into your blush kind of thing. And so it's going to be, I mean, yes, you can wear it just as a blush, but I did kind of design the individual shades if you want to wear the one that is like designated for light, medium, or deep skin tones to kind of bridge the gap between like your contour and bronzer and then whatever you want the focal point of your blush to be, which we'll get into the corals in a second. So that's what we're talking about here. And I'm going to insert the footage of me kind of wearing all of them. So like I said, anybody can wear anything and I highly encourage y'all to, I'm going to put the entire PR list of other creators, of friends of mine who received this, you know, in gifting from Finding Ferdinand ahead of the release. I'm going to list all of their ats over on Instagram down below in the description so that you can go and follow them because it runs the gamut of like ages and skin tones and skin types and the way that they wear their makeup and everything like that so that hopefully if they decide that they're going to make content about it you can see these on like you know virtually any comparable skin tone to yours. So it was really really important to me that the entire PR list got every shade so that is hopefully what y'all be able to see. So those are the beiges. Let's go ahead. I'm going to swatch the corals on my other hand so that we can have all of them together. The corals are all named after your kind of evening beverages, right? Your kind of relaxation, afternoon, whatever, you know, your, your iced beverage sitting on a, a patio in the setting sun, right? So this is them, light, medium, and deep. And the names here are Paloma, one of my absolute favorite cocktails, Spritz, one of my other absolute favorite cocktails. And then aperitif, which of course is just, you know, the highly concentrated version that is going to be, you know, the most kind of like clarion red. So let's go ahead and swatch these. It was so important to me that these formulas, as they got deeper, as they got richer, we didn't just increase the pigment load, we also increased the translucence so that you were able to have almost like a gel option. And so the way that they're formulated is they have kind of increasing amounts, like they have less white and more of just an, an MCT oil base, a medium chain triglyceride oil base. And that is going to give them that beautiful kind of lucidness on the skin that is not going to be ashy on deep skin tones. So again, there we have Paloma, Spritz, and Aperitif. And y'all, I want to give you, like, I don't have a video of it or anything, but I just wanted to briefly mention the way that this happened. So like when I went into their offices in New York City, I started out, you know, talking like in pan tones and, you know, we, we developed the concepts and everything ahead of time. But when we were kind of there in person, we started working with, you know, pan tones and putting them into this like incredible, you know, high tech, like scanning machine and everything like that. And like looking at all these colors that I wanted to focus on. And as soon as I saw the way that like the technology was working and everything, I was like, okay, like, you know, can we tweak this? Can we tweak that? And we were kind of waiting for like a lot of like outputs from it. And I was like, can I mix them by hand? And they were like, yeah, of course, just write down. Like I had, you know, I had them in like fractions of a gram, tenths of a gram on a scale. And I literally was working, I had like black gloves on, you know, black rubber gloves on. And I had all of the individual, you know, you're like your oxide red and you're, uh, I don't know, you're yellow and you're, you know what I mean? Like I had all of these different pure 
like face safe pigments that they use for the makeup, like the actual pigments that they use to pigment the makeup. And then they had, you know, a huge thing of their actual like, you know, blush base, right? The formula itself. And essentially I was sitting there with a scale, tearing out the scale every single time and writing down this recipe in like, you know, it ended up being like a teaspoon of these colors for each shade that I was developing. I actually started with the deepest shade and then we worked backwards from there, sort of increasing the white and increasing some of the pink tones and things like that so that it would complement lighter skin tones and things like that. Like that was the idea. And I'm sitting there just like swatching them and mixing them on this little palette to make sure that they're right we're swatching them and then we would literally like mix them with the base and you know make a blush right there in front of me and I was able to you know see it come to life but when I say I mixed every single one of these by hand that is what I did and it was like the most amazing process like it was so much fun like I am a painter I have an art degree I've been mixing colors as a hairstylist you know for a very very long time like I was a hairstylist for a long time and like this just felt so natural it felt like this like natural confluence of all of the things that had led me to this point I was just like oh my gosh like I can't believe how easily this comes to me and so it was just again such like a frictionless seamless process and it was so exciting you know like we were just sitting there swatching them and they would come and check on me and like oh you know like what do we have next like all this stuff it was just so much fun and then we also decided to do a lip gloss with this collection because you know being the Italian girly that I am you can't talk about the coast of Italy without talking about lemons y'all know I'm obsessed with citrus okay like I'm obsessed with citrus I'm like a, I'm like kind of ridiculously excited about like lemons and it's just it's a silly thing. If you've been on my channel for a long time, you know about my weird excitement about lemons. And so I was like, if we do a gloss, I just want it to be one and I want it to be actually universal, but I want it to be like fun and exciting, right? So anyway, <laughs> this is the gloss that goes with the collection. This is Sparkling Lemon Cello. And it is just a really beautiful, like slightly enhancing, volumizing, but not like plumping lip gloss formula. It has a beautiful combination of very, very fine gold and silver glitter in there that makes it come out to this beautiful kind of champagne on the lips. And then it smells like a limoncello. Like it just, oh, it has the most delicious lemon smell. No flavor. And it doesn't like linger or anything, but while you're using it, the fragrance load is just so pleasant. I love a lemon scent in a lip gloss and it's just not a very common thing that you come across. Even one of my favorite lip glosses that used to do a limoncello scent, they took it out. <laughs> just like, well, by God, I'm gonna make one. So that is the lip gloss that is in the collection. Oh, let me show you all the components. There's just so much to cover. I shine one of these up. They've been kicking around in my collection for a minute now. The outer packaging I actually designed myself and they are so cute, y'all. They're so cute. I'm so excited about them. So the outer packaging is really cute. And then this is what their, the Finding Ferdinand packaging looks like. The lid is this tasteful green and then the bottom is this beautiful frosted glass. They're heavy in the hand. They feel really luxurious. You can get a good size brush in there. I've been using the BK106 for this and like it's just perfect for it. And the formula is this beautiful kind of, I mean, it is a cream, but I feel like it has enough of like a hybrid texture to it that you can wear it on top of just about any kind of makeup. You can wear it on top of powder and things like that. And also, it wears a really, really long time. So I do want to talk about how I've been wearing these because even I've been kind of pleasantly surprised at the adaptability of these shades. So being fair skinned, I have been starting with latte on the cheeks. And when I apply this, I feel like it is almost kind of disappearing into my skin in a way that adds a beautiful kind of like opaque flush. And it's going to look really, really beautiful without pulling, you know, too orange or too pink or too peach on, you know, any kind of super fair skin tone. It's a beige that does have just a touch, touch of pink in it, and but it's got a fair amount of yellow in it too. So it's very, very balanced. And to me, it basically enhances my complexion look in a way that looks very complete without kind of over bronzing. And then I'll go in with Paloma just at the top 
of my cheekbones here where the sun would hit and it's going to really enhance that local color and add this really beautiful like richness right there. But the way that it shears out, it doesn't, unless you apply a lot of it, which you're more than welcome to do, it doesn't read coral, like screaming coral. It just adds a really beautiful, natural kind of native warmth to the skin. So that's what I've been loving about this one. But the way that I have not been able to resist using Olay on my cheeks after the fact, because it just gives me this really almost like better than natural kind of tan look. And I've been using this just by itself. Also, when I use like a Glossier stretch concealer or something as my only complexion product, I'll put this on. You can buy like just your duo of the intensity of your choice kind of thing. And I think that you'd be all set, you know? But having all of them is pretty awesome too, <laughs> because you just have the ability to kind of, like I said, dial up or dial down the intensity because aperitif has this ability, even if you have like light or medium or just like tan skin, this is gonna give you strawberry girl summer, okay? That viral strawberry girl, tomato girl summer kind of red on the cheeks. It's going to read a beautiful coral on deep skin tones and also a very, very saturated kind of true red that's not going to go too pink on fair skin tones. So that is always like, y'all know I'm not a candy apple red person. Candy apple red to me means that it just has too much blue in it. And so it starts to go kind of too achingly pink on the skin and that's fine. It just doesn't work on me. And so when I choose a coral shade, I want it to have enough yellow in it that it feels like grounded in like a sunshiny color, not in this like, if you sheer it out too much, it's gonna go like, berry or hot pink. So this will not go hot pink. I also use spritz to give me like a true coral. So the Paloma shade is going to give me, like I said, that like enhanced fade into everything else, very natural looking flush. But if what I'm looking for is like, I get done with my makeup and I'm like, no, it needs to be coral. I want people to look at me and detect coral with their eyes. I am as a fair skinned person going to go for spritz. So like I said, there are going to be like multiple ways to buy this. I'm sure you're already kind of churning in your brain on like what shades are going to be most useful to you. Like what shade values of these are going to be most useful to you. So I have a discount code for the first week and then the creators who got this in PR will also have discount Count codes. So definitely, like I said, check out all of their Instagrams so that you can go follow them. So hopefully you'll be able to, I mean, obviously they're fantastic creators you should follow anyway, but uh, it will give you the opportunity to see this on a lot of different people and the way that they wear their makeup and their skin tones and their ages and things like that. And also because Finding Ferdinand is a company that's like so nimble in their ability to create in batch sizes that are like the most practical, there will probably be, you know, a restock period if this sells out, but we can kind of continue restocking. It's just going to be like little pauses in between, but it won't be like a wildly long period of time because like I said, because of their technology, they're very nimble. So if I have not been effusive enough, I want to, well, I want to start by thanking y'all because we have arrived here as a community for me to be able to have a vision and someone who believes in me enough to help me put that vision into action and, you know, turn it into real life, into, you know, actual things that I can hold in my hands. <laughs> And a photo shoot that was just like mind-blowingly dreamy. It was just fantastic. It was just fantastic. It was an absolute dream come true. Obviously, by virtue of the fact that there are numbers underneath this video that translate into human beings watching this, you're those human beings and this would not be possible without every single person, like every single one of you. And so thank you. Thank you so much for helping me make my dreams come true in being able to like do something that just feels so right. It feels so right. The whole process felt so right. And I also want to thank the whole team over at Finding Ferdinand. I want to thank new Abigail Dillon. I want to thank Jeffrey Bukhari, the photographer for the photo shoot. He was an absolute dream to work with. He was just so delightful. I would work with every single one of them again. It was truly the dream team. And that is why I feel like the result of this collection is just so true. Not just true to my original vision, but like it felt effortless. Like it just felt so like we were reading minds, you know? Like when I showed up to the photo shoot after sending kind of all of my inspiration imagery and everything like that. And after we had already like developed the line itself, I show up and I was like, 
you get me, like you get me. It was so awesome. <laughs> it was just so fabulous. So just everything from start to finish, the taste level of Finding Ferdinand, they just have like a really immaculate aesthetic. Like they just get it. And the whole thing has just felt so like I was coming home to myself. So I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all like it. I, I really like, please, please tag me when you use these because I cannot wait to see what y'all come up with. I can't wait to see the choices that y'all make because while I don't want to give myself too many flowers here, you know, when I showed these to Ingrid initially, she was like, no one's doing this. Like no one's putting out three intensities of each shade so that you can have these kinds of options. And I was like, that's so nice of you. Thank you. You know what I mean? Like I don't even think about it like that because it was just, that's just intuitively the way that my brain works. I'm just like, well, you know, we need that. Like that's important kind of thing. And like in order for me to even feel like my vision is completely fleshed out. So I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it's fun. Like that's the, you know, I hope that it's fun and it's easy to use. Like that's the main thing that I founded my channel on is just like, I don't want makeup to be difficult. I don't want makeup to be unapproachable. I want it to be something that feels like it brings joy to your life. It enhances your experience and that like you feel beautiful. Like that's, that's the whole point. So thank you again. I just really appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate y'all watching this. I appreciate y'all, you know, encouraging me because there've been so many people who didn't even know what this was going to be. And they were just like, take my money. And I was like, y'all are amazing. Like, at least let me, at least let me sell it to you. <laughs> You know, but there are just so many people who are so sweet and believe in me. And like, that means the absolute whole world, the universe, all of it. It just means all of it to me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is just the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. So I hope y'all enjoy this again. Please tag me, tag Finding Ferdinand. I, this is just going to be a, a community party over on Instagram. So definitely let me know what y'all think. Again, I'll have all the links, discount codes, everything like that. And you know, details and stuff. I'll keep y'all updated if there need to be restocks or anything like that. And we'll probably be using these, like I'll be doing some shorts over on, well, shorts are on YouTube. I'll do some reels uh, on Instagram, doing some more demos of these so that y'all can kind of see them in action. Uh, I feel like I'm just like, I feel like there's probably more that I want to say, but uh, that's, that's it for now. Thank y'all. I love you so much. And hopefully I will see you in this makeup. So uh, I, I, yeah, thank you. Bye.